Allen reporting for Katie Chats at the Lake Shorts International Short Film Festival in the Tobico. I am here with Rick Roberts. How does it feel to be here hosting uh, Lake Shorts this evening? It's it's excellent. I'm excited. I, I just found out that the Tobico is named a cultural hotspot for uh, for Toronto this year, and, and uh, my son went to school kind of up the street. So uh, I live in the East End, so I feel like a kind of a, a kinship with kind of areas outside of the downtown core that are uh, trying to make their mark. And Absolutely. So it's, it's, it's thrilling to have, it's like a, a combination of something that's international and has a really good uh, neighborhoody feel. So like probably how TIFF might have felt, you know, in the early days, like really uh, grassroots and, oh, yeah. and fun. Yeah. And there's great hors d'oeuvres and music. What more could you want, right? Nothing more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Booze. And there's that too. Yeah. <laughs> now, you have done a lot of uh, acting over the years. Uh, I saw you in a play, uh, The Enemy of the People at the Tarragon, and I know you've done a lot of theater and film. So how has your work in theater helped your, your work on camera? Or, you know, is there a difference in the process? Um, it's kind of it all comes from the the same place, but the, I mean, the great thing about theater is that you are, you're kind of like your own. I always kind of think of it. You're like your own editor. Mm. Like it, when you're acting on camera, you're kind of throwing suggestions to the editing room, and they kind of craft that for you. But when you're in front of a live audience, it's you kind of responsible for the ebb and flow of the play, and you're getting that immediate feedback. So, that that experience of of doing that, I find both. Uh, going back and forth between the two, they really, really inform each other. So I'm, I'm glad to do both, and I, l I like to, to flip back and, and forth. But theater is sometimes a great chance to, to cut loose on something oh. in, in a way that is not, not often available in film, but it can be. It can be. And you recently shot the short film Who Is Hannah, which yes. my friend Claire Stollery wrote and Mark O'Brien yes. directed and Scott Cavaliero produced. Um, so what was it like uh, acting in that project? Well, that was an awesome one. I, I know Mark O'Brien from working on Republic of Doyle, and he just called me and said, do you want to do this short film? I said, sure, and I did it without uh, even reading the script because he's such a great guy. And then I read the script, even like a, I think it was even a month later, and it's just very, very funny, but very uh, embarrassing in all the, the excellent ways that good comedy is. So it's a very kind of very funny, very awkward comedy. And But it is, but actually, as a short film, it's not, it's not playing here at the, the festival, but as a that spirit of uh, people getting together and doing something there. I mean, Claire and Scott have been working on that for a long time, and, and it's, Claire's just a very funny person, and, and her voice is in there, and you're showing up with this kind of small crew of people and you know, shooting at 3, 4 in the morning, everyone's exhausted. But it's th that energy of, of that kind of work on film is it's so, so rare, and it's so great to find that with short films that, uh, that kind of, to me, feels the closest to that kind of thing you can get from from theater, which is kind of like mm -hmm. by the seat of your pants, throwing it up, and, and mm -hmm. it, it was great. It was a lot of fun, though. Yeah. And just on the spot, I'm thinking about your character in Jonestown, and then your character in The Enemy of the People, and they're both sort of like these men who are powerful yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. charismatic. Like it seems to be sort of like a type. A, a, they're different, but you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. So, what do you think it is about those characters? <laughs> well, those those are those are fun kind of characters. I, I remember reading an interview with someone along playing like a like Jim Jones was kind of he wasn't technically a religious leader, but he was definitely a cult leader. Those guys are hams. Yeah. <laughs> like they 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 have like I think Jim Jones even invented his own accent, and politicians have that quality. And there was an improvisational part, an enemy of the people that really um, just allowed you to kind of not worry about telling the truth, and, and you just. Um, so those guys, but those kind of guys who are really concerned with power, as you get older, that those kind of parts come around more often. And I actually, I love doing that kind of stuff where the people have this kind of weird edge or something that's going on with them that's not quite right. And and you always try and find the heart in them, uh, which is a bit um, soul destroying when you get like an enemy of people. I got booed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. But it's but you know it's, it's good for the character. But you go oh right, he's the villain. Yeah. yeah. Well, you are an amazing actor. I admire your work very much. Uh, congratulations and have a wonderful time tonight at Lake Shorts. I will. I know I will. Thank you so much. Thank Good you. Day. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Lake Shorts in Etobicoke. <laughs>